Hey everybody, it's me, Kasha Wolf, and today we are going to be talking about ways to open up your root chakra. Now there are so many ways out there to basically open your root chakra, but I'm going to go through each of them individually so that that way you are able to understand it and pick it up better. Um, feel free to write this stuff down, but I'm actually going to be posting this stuff, I think, on spellsmagic.com. So then you guys can, you know, copy, paste it, print it, and even put it in your book of shadows if you need to. Because it's always great to have these kind of notes so you're able to look back at it without having to go back onto the computer to, like, you know, pick up this information. And a lot of us don't have internet like myself right now. Um, so it's really great to be able to, you know, get on the internet one day, go on, print it, and then you have it for, like, ever until you get on the internet again. But, yes, you guys. So let's get started. Now different ways you can open the root chakra would be aromatherapy, that's basically, you know, with smell. You can get different uh, scents of certain things, which I'm going to go over with you guys, um, and it helps open that root chakra. There's also massage. Basically, this chakra will react from, you know, touch, feeling, and massage will really help that chakra open. Also exercise. Exercise is very important for this chakra in particular. But, you know, try to find some way to go out and exercise a little bit. This can be walking or jogging or running. I like running, but a lot of people do say it's not really good for your knees. But, you know, it's really up to you guys. It's your life and your body. And um, another thing, too, is to look at the relationship with your mother. This chakra has a very close connection with the feminine. And a lot of times, for those of us who have not the best relationship with our mothers, we're actually being, being held by, back by that with opening all of our chakras and our spirituality. Um, you know, getting that energy going and stuff like that. And there are so many reasons out there for people to not have the best relationships with their mother or their parents. Um, you know, no, not everybody is perfect and not that many people are so lucky. But some don't even have parents. But in some ways, it's best to try to, you know, try to get to that middle ground to where you're able to have a healthy relationship with your parents or your mother in particular for this. And <clears throat> if it's a little bit difficult, you know, it's always okay to take your time with it or even see a professional about it. Foods. When it comes to the root chakra, it's always best to eat red foods. Um, this being strawberries, radishes, and a great one is pomegranate. I love pomegranate. And there's also, you could um, use watermelon because watermelon is like a pink in the inside. It's red. It's got to be very delicious. But I think that the watermelon can also work for another chakra because it's green on the outside. But I think more for the root chakra. Um, there's all kinds of fruits out there that you can use, you know, like strawberries, cherries, so many great ones. Um, for those of you who have like a big list of ideas for red fruits and stuff, just put it down in the comments below and I'll add it to my list um, for you guys. Different scents and herbs that are for the root chakra is cedarwood, myrrh, and patchouli. This can be in the form of an herb, an incense. If you can get it in like an oil and you can burn it with an oil burner, that can work as well. Or even for your bathtub. And there's like so many ways you can use this in order to open up your root chakra. But since aromatherapy is one of those things with the root chakra, I think it would be very great to have it as an incense or, you know, an oil. So that that way you can smell it and open your root chakra. Different gemstones for the root chakra. Now there's also affirmations that you can use to open this root chakra. This can really help when you're doing meditation. You can repeat this in your mind over and over again in order for you to basically, um, you know, set it into your yourself 
for that affirmation to you. There's also affirmations for your root chakra. Now this is best to be used when you're doing meditation or when you wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and just say it to yourself. And this will really bring up the energy into that chakra. So some of the, some of the affirmations are, I feel deeply rooted. I am connected to my body. I am safe and secure. I have what I need. I stand for my values. I'm open to possibilities. I love life. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, the next video is basically going to be kundalini positions and yoga positions that you can do to help open the chakra. And after that, we're going to move on to the very next chakra. So you guys, see you next time. Goodbye and blessed be.